Hello everyone and welcome to Jumper Man Tech where we specialize in HVAC but do everything DIY and today we have a service call for an infrared heater. Thank you to everyone tuning in to Jumper Man Tech and they mentioned that this one is not working. Let's go ahead and turn on the power. It's controlled by a few switches which energize transformer and then from there sends 24 volts here to the ignition module and gets everything started this works off natural gas so let's go ahead and see what they're talking about all right here are the switches let's go ahead and turn them on now let's go ahead and see which ones are working or not you can hear this one making some noise let's see We've got over 400 degrees I hear this one trying to start. I wonder if you guys can see the temperature over 500 degrees. Nothing. Outdoor temperature. This is the one. All right, this is a Sunpack infrared heater. All right, here's our wires. my meter right here let's see if we're getting power here first i mean nothing's what's happening here so between these two should be 24 volts I got my alligator leads across the two. We got 24 volts and nothing's going on here. Let's try to reset the power. I want to see what this thing tries to do. I'm setting my helper to go turn off the power. Let's see, we got 24 volts. All right, he turned it off and I asked him to turn it back on after about five seconds. All right, got power. 2,000 years later. All right, so I tried three times and nothing. I right, turned the power off. I know these ignition controls go bad all the time. It's getting our 24 volts and we're not getting ignition. What I wanna do is change this ignition module because pretty much we got voltage and Really nothing was happening here, so I'll start taking this thing apart. It's on this plate, you can't really get a screwdriver in there, but there's some screws back here. Get this off. Yep, just like a little clip. And there's two Phillips screws there. Awesome. Let's go ahead and pull this thing out. Okay, hold on to those screws. All right, this is it. All right. Got this sparker and then a little clip here for all the wires. This is it. All right, took it off with the base. Because when you order these online on the manufacturer, what's awesome is that it actually comes with the base as well. So I guess that's the proper way to do it. This is new, got a new wiring harness and new hardware, awesome. Also some instructions, great. All right, I'm gonna start by putting in my new harness and getting rid of this one. All right, cool. Just put in the new harness, just put the ground and these are just little stake on connections. You just clip them on super easy and I put my two wires to my 24 volts coming in and this just plugs into the board which is super cool the only thing is what I would like to do is change this assembly in here because I know this igniter is gonna get it to start but is that piece is what's what's gonna keep it going and 
I tried everything I could to get to that little compression fitting and it's impossible even with this little baby wrench there's no way to get it inside there you can't get your hand in there nothing and you can't spin it and what's crazy is you can't take off this cover or this one or this one it's all riveted on so I literally cut into here so I can get to that compression fitting. I would like to change that, but let's start with this board and test. Two connections to make here for your spark. And here you just have a little harness. Super easy. So I'm just gonna plug this in. Nice connection. And then this little spark goes in here. Okay. Now I can mount this thing using the new hardware that they have provided. Everything is brand new. All right, got the first one in. second one in we can close it with those little covers cool all right got that all in and we're gonna go ahead and turn the power on Feel some heat. Let's check the temperature. All right, there you see, 350, 390. All right, that's awesome. We have heat. You know that ignition control is getting 24 volts, and you see things like the gas valve and pretty much nothing happening. That ignition control module isn't doing its thing. So hot that it's bugging out my meter but it works i have this part so i don't want it to go to waste but i do want to make a quick test and that was the issue the board but so that's going to help it come on this is going to help it stay on it's like a little pilot tube and this is a whole assembly unfortunately you can't just change the sparker anyways let's see how we can get in there power is now off Let's start by taking off this front cover here. Got four Phillips screws. This screws in there, man. Oops. All right, covers off. Man, that thing is not looking good. All right, so you want to get in there to take off the compression nut for the pilot tubing. And I guess we'll just bend it back afterwards. Got a gas valve here. And we got one right here, so let's turn this off to be safe. If I can take off that little nut. All right, loosen it up. Cool. Man, it's tight in there. Bar is here. We got two screws. Disconnected the wire and this thing should come loose.
what's holding me? There we go. All right. Whew. Time to go. Boy, does that look better. Only thing was, it was that it was super tricky to get this pilot to begin with his turns. Got these tiny holes in here. With this huge one. Okay, I can understand why they did that, but man. Let's see. Alright, like that. That goes around or something. No. This has to go in the same exact way it came out. And I'm gonna have trouble with this thing, I already see. All right. That was it. Now let me run the wire through its dedicated hole. There we go. I like that. Okay. That's what I'm talking about. I'm gonna do this one more delicately with a screwdriver. Man, does that look a lot better. All right, so this orange wire we're gonna put back on our ignition module and let's tighten up this pilot tubing to the gas valve all right it's got to tighten this thing down got it started by hand all right that thing is in there what i want to do is open up the gas valve and check for any leaks this is the cow blue micro gas leak detector Typically, you find this in the AC and refrigeration supply house. Personally, I like this one. So, got the gas open. Let's check that nut. Compression fittings, for the most part, are pretty good. I'm gonna keep a little eye on that, but that's looking good to me. No leaks here got that one last wire to connect turn the power on quickly to test you can see there's a flame there awesome you can see it's like sparkling so you know it went all the way across 700 degrees all right from here what i want to do is turn off the power and close everything up all right everyone put the covers back on everything is nice and secured smack that back in ain't the prettiest thing but it works it's okay if we open this because this actually was an air intake so you know it is what it is but we are now working not only did we get it to come on but now it's going to stay on so if anyone found this video interesting or helpful please drop a like comment and subscribe as i come out with new videos every week don't forget to share with your friends and colleagues and i'll catch you all next time